Hello again, uh, Dr. Dale Miles here, Dr. Combeam. Um, uh, thank you for coming back to my channel, my YouTube channel, and please uh, like it uh, at the bottom of the page like you do other videos that you've seen. Hopefully these are educational for you. Um, I've got a patient that I'm going to show again the medial arterial calcification in uh, patients who may uh, have type 2 diabetes uh, mellitus that's un undiagnosed or possibly uncontrolled. And I'm going to show you how I go about a volume where the calcifications weren't very prominent in the uh, axial views in the cervical portions, but they are very prominent uh, in the cellar region. So I'll show you what to look for in this particular uh, session. So I've got a patient anonymized here. We're going to uh, open this up. And I always open it in the what's called the dynamic light box, and you can see it's anonymized. This is a relatively recent patient, um, a good uh, educational uh, case from uh, basically ju last July. So I'm optimizing the image for contrast and density. I can move it around to kind of center things. And as I scroll through these axial planes, um, you'll see that this patient was actually sent for a narrowed airway and patients with obstructive sleep apnea or sleep disordered breathing, um, uh, they have a comorbidity in many cases of diabetes. So uh, let's, let's see what this patient looks like. This particular patient, uh, when I phoned back to the clinician, uh, did have a recorded history of hypertension, high blood pressure, and diabetes mellitus. So let's go through, I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the volume. This is where it starts, and you can see some musculature, you can see the hyoid bone. But as I go through this section in the cervical component, while this may be a calcification, it could also just be the uh, tritious cartilage or a portion of the hyoid bone. So that could be a carotid plaque, but I'm not convinced. And in this case, as I scroll up, um, I was searching through and looking for other uh, interesting findings, as I always do. There's some inflammatory change in the maxillary antro bilaterally. Uh, and as I come up a little further, I'm, of course, always looking at the condyles. And to refresh your memory, the carotid artery is right here and here, and the internal jugular vein is, is in this location. So as we scroll up um, towards the sphenoid bone, you can see that when I get up to the uh, sphenoid sinus in this region right here, there seems to be a couple little calcifications starting. And as I scroll a little bit further, you can see that this looks kind of odd. And, and what I would do for my client is I would mark these because I, I know now that this is probably um, medial arterial calcification in the carotid artery in probably the ophthalmic segment. So I would take an image and so to embed in the report. And as I scroll further up, I almost get these circular patterns that I uh, have been telling you about uh, in the axial plane of section, usually in the cervical component. And still, as I go a little bit further, you can see some more calcification, but it's not really that prominent, this is the most striking feature right here. If I go to confirm that and go to the sagittal section, uh, this of course is clivus or a portion of the sphenoid bone. As I scroll to one side, this is hap going to the left, I see a little pineal gland calcification. But as I scroll up, you'll see that in the internal carotid, as it comes through the cavernous sinus, I'm starting to get this linear pattern of calcification. So. It's kind of confirmed on the patient's left side, and as I come this way past the cella tersic again to the right side, you can see that I've got similar features. Okay, I've got some calcification, maybe linear pattern here in this portion of the internal carotid. Again, not that distinct, but I probably would label it and take a picture. I'll go back and take the right side, which is a little more prominent and put an arrow on that too. So now I'm intrigued. Now I'm saying, wow, this looks like it could be MAC or medial arterial calcification. So I'll switch to the coronal plane and lo and behold, and I'll make this a little bit bigger, you do see these circular patterns. You see one here and one here and then a little curvilinear pattern here. So I'm gonna 
slowly scroll through here to see if they get any more prominent. This is about the best image I can get. But now I'm going, oh, this is a diabetic until proven otherwise. And I'll take a picture there. Now, one of the things that I am encouraging you to do, everyone, including my radiology colleagues out there, thicken the slice. Um, thicken it to 10 millimeters. Uh, I learned that trick from Bill Scarf and, and uh, Alan Farman years ago from a paper and listening to them talk about calcifications. Thickening it and then applying a MIP tool, which is up here, maximum intensity projection, makes those calcifications stand out. And you can see kind of like the loops here, and this is of course thickened, but as we scroll through you can see that that pattern also holds up. I'll take one of the arrows off here. And I would take another picture of that because that's probably the most prominent display of the calcification. Now remember I thought I saw something down in the neck so of course I'm going to scroll through and quite possibly this is uh, vertebra body C3 and C4 quite possibly this is a carotid plaque. You can have plaques and MAC at the same time but this is the clue right here. These calcifications in this circular pattern uh, and I'm going to add a classification for these calcifications in a later video, but this signals to me that this is most likely uh, medial arterial calcification. And let me show you why it shows up here. I, I actually made a, uh, a single screen PowerPoint to show you. You can see it here. Uh, and this one, let's go ahead and view it from the current slide or actually slideshow, that's what we'll do from the current slide so it fills the screen. This is what I saw initially in the coronal section as I'm scrolling past the condylar area and as you can see that pattern as I thickened it out did come out in the uh, in the MIP image and then this is why we see it because the sphenoid sinus is here the internal carotid comes through the cavernous sinus, makes a bend right by the pituitary gland, goes up again. So the loops are these kind of uh, um, patterns here and here, and then uh, as it loops forward again, this is a little less dramatic uh, on this diagram, but in this particular protocol, if I'm a radiologist, I'm looking in the pituitary region, I'm looking for certain changes if I'm a medical radiologist, but in our particular uh, realm of the world, we're looking for MAC. So we're looking for medial arterial calcification. This is the pattern that you'd like to, uh, to detect. You may have to thicken the slice and you should always apply the MIP tool when you do. So I hope this has been instructional. Please again, uh, if you want to uh, you know, follow me on YouTube on this channel, please uh, become a subscriber. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, and I've got a lot more videos to come. Thanks a lot.